1967, Bristol, I, I learned this watching those two guys play all night in a little, in a rest area where they had a soda machine and a little overhang. Two guys played music all night, and if you wanted to listen, that was fine. If they didn't, that was fine. And one of the tunes they kept going back to was called The Drunken Fellow. And it was a bluegrass tune going this way. And it was just a mile a minute, and I sat there with my tongue down my knee, and uh, I just never heard anybody play bluegrass filler. I never, my favorite bluegrass filler of all time is Joe Green. He just played with more body movement, more incredibly, it's just a sledgehammer yeah. drive, yeah. just incredible. And when he was out in the fields of Galax Union Grove and at this time Bristol, Tennessee, the rosin dust would just make a cloud. And you'd see this fiddle and bow in the, in the, in the night, you know, and just this big white cloud going everywhere because he was just, just blood and guts fiddle yeah. and just great. And I just hope and pray that Joe Green is okay. And I wish he'd, I wish there were more recordings of him playing mm. because he was the powerhouse fiddler. Mm. I never saw him play with more mm. abandoned, more guts than Joe Green. It was wow. just great. He'd drive you crazy in the parking lot. It's just crazy. He'd be out there for six, eight hours of stretch just playing his brains out. And all his banjo players would just be lying on the ground dead, you know, picked to death. So this is the tune called the Drunken Fiddler.